So I've said a lot before in my videos that pitching is one of the keys to lowering your score. And certainly for most average golfers, if you can just get the ball on the putting surface from about 60 yards and in, you will definitely lower your score. So the average for an 18 handicapper from shots to the hole from inside 60 or from around about 60 yards is more than three. So I think it's 3.2, which means the average person can't get the ball on and two putt every single time. Some of the time they three putt or they duff a chip, but whatever happens, it's more than three. So sometimes they take four. So imagine if I said to you, here's a little pill, take it with a glass of water. And for the next 12 months, from here to 60 yards, you just add three at the worst. That is going to definitely help your score. So I'm talking about someone that's struggling to break 100 or 90. Once you get down to 80, then you're expected to get it even closer. But at the moment, don't even worry about where the flag is. Just get the ball on the putting surface. And if you can just get it on the, surf, on the putting surface, you're going to be better. So I've got a few keys to helping you to do that. So I've got my 55 degree sand wedge at the moment. We're not too worried about distance here. I'm just gonna talk you through my basic fundamentals. So for hitting a pitch shot, I would like the ball to be in the middle of my stance. I don't wanna to see too much forward shaft lean. I, I want a fairly neutral setup because the more forward I get my hands, the steeper my angle of attack is. And as you'll find out shortly, that's not a good thing. So we just want ball in the middle and we want a fairly neutral setup. These flies are terrible today. I want just a little bit of weight on the front foot, but we don't do it with our lower part of our body. We get it by thinking of our nose. So if I can get my nose either level with the grip or the shaft on the club, or even just slightly in front. So it's not a bad idea to have a ball in your hand. Take your setup. And then when you think you're right, just drop the ball from your nose. So you can see that just hit this side of the shaft, which means I'm level or just slightly in front. Perfect nose position, which then gives me the perfect weight distribution for the setup. So you just want the nose just marginally in front. From there, we're gonna use the nine o'clock to three o'clock swing that I've banged on about for however many videos I've made on the subject, but it's just such a simple method. You take your hands back so that your right hand is back to uh, nine o'clock and you follow through to three o'clock. So if we can do that, we're gonna get control over the shot. The more full the swing is, the more variables we've got, the more contact is going to get worse. So the beauty of this nine to three is your contact's gonna get pretty good. So I'm aiming in the direction of the bucket, but I'm not trying to hit the bucket. It's probably gonna go a bit further than that. So we've got our nine to three, we've got our neutral setup, nose in front of the ball. Then the most important thing here is we wanna keep the club shallow. We want the club to be wide during the course of the swing. I see a lot of people picking the club up and getting the club a little bit steep and that's making more of a v-shaped swing or a narrow swing and that's when we have problems with contact the wider we can swing and the shallower we can swing the better the contact will be we won't be taking much of a divot we don't need to but it's just going to give us the best path down to the ball and the best contact then of course, the other thing that people forget is they decelerate. They're trying not to hit it too far. So in the act of doing that, their club is slowing down through impact. Once your club hits the grass, it's gonna stall. I actually like to see a little bit of zip, not a super uh, acceleration, but there is an acceleration through the shot. And it's getting that zip through the bottom of the swing that helps give us a little bit of spin on the ball, which really helps us to stop it. So we've got a neutral setup, ball in the middle, no slightly in front. I'm swinging the club back shallow and wide, and I've got a little bit of zip at the bottom. Just like that. 
and the ball goes quite nicely. A couple of bounces. This is a downhill where it's landing. That's going to give us pretty good distance control. It's when we don't do these things that we start getting inconsistent. And of course, to hit shorter or further, we change the club. So if we need to hit it further, I'll take out my gap wedge or a pitching wedge. If I need to hit it shorter, I will grab my 60 degree wedge or lob wedge and I'll use that. But we're trying to let the club dictate the distance, but we're still sticking with all of those variables. And you'll see there the divot that I made wasn't that big. The club has just brushed the surface. Uh, that allows the bounce of the club to do its job, stops the club digging in. And if you can follow these simple things, it's gonna really help your golf. I've got another video up there that I know is going to really help improve your score.